Hey guys and welcome back to the arena. Today we have another epic battle and we will see the giant Vietnamese centipede meeting a huge tarantula. And as you can see the centipede is already crawling around the arena and exploring the environment. Centipedes actually have around 60 legs, two legs per body segment and they are also quite venomous. The centipede has a modified pair of legs on his head and a bite of those claws can actually put you into the hospital. The venom is quite strong, probably won't kill you, but it's seriously no joke. Same goes for the tarantula. This is one of the most venomous tarantulas in the world and you can find the specific type in the video description. And as you can see, we have the first encounter. The centipede smells the tarantula and is interested in her, but the tarantula is quite defensive and directly escapes. She has clearly no interest in the centipede as food. While the centipede smells her and is trying to make her his prey. So we have another encounter, the centipede smells the tarantula again and actually this time he manages to bite her into the leg. The tarantula doesn't fight back but quickly escapes. The centipede is clearly the more aggressive predator in this video and he gets another try at the tarantula, tries to climb her back but again she walks up the glass and escapes. And we saw this pattern quite a few times, the centipede always um, smells the tarantula and try to attack it. But the tarantula moves too quickly and manages to escape every time. Until the tarantula made a critical mistake. While climbing the glass wall it fall off the wall and now the centipede has the opportunity to strike right into her back. But what happened? The centipede seems to be hurt. Has the tarantula strike back? We will take a look at this in the time lapse later. The centipede seems to be clearly hurt and actually he looks like he's biting himself in the segment where the tarantula bit him. And the centipede was clearly hurt. He continued to lick his wound and he was not in the mood to attack the tarantula for the moment. But this shouldn't last long time. And again the centipede bites the tarantula into the leg and the tarantula strikes back immediately. Here we see the time lapse of the first attack. The centipede bites the tarantula in the leg. She reacts quickly and immediately bites back into his segments. The centipede immediately lets go because he's heavily injured right away while the tarantula doesn't seem to be injured at all. And let's take a look at the time lapse of the second attack. The centipede went to strike again into her front legs this time. The tarantula pulled back and then defended herself by biting right into his head. And this time the injury must have been even worse. Because after that the centipede didn't move as much anymore. His legs seemed to be numb and the tarantula really crippled him. And this attack was the death sentence for the centipede. Because how I found out the next day, he was not able to use his jaw anymore. This means he's left to starve. He was still walking around the terrarium, but you could see that he was not the same anymore. He was heavily injured walk differently and on the next day he was dead. So I guess we will have to see a rematch of an even bigger centipede and see if this time he can take down the tarantula. I hope you liked the video and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss out on the best battles 
of the bug world. Thanks for watching and I hope to catch you guys in the next video. Bye.